Septembers are different at Derry's Guild Hall. For the month, it becomes the headquarters of the three-year-old Field Day Theatre Company. Each year, the premiere of the chosen production is staged here. The Field Day lineup changes annually. Director of its current production, Claire Davidson, was recently working in London's West End. Company manager, Julie Barton, is from Bangor, County Down. Set and costume designer, Margot Harkin, is a native of Derry. Stage manager Bo Barton is English and has been associated with the past three Field Day productions. Michael Foyle is from Belfast. The Field Day directors believe passionately in bringing their work to provincial audiences. Up to now, all productions have either been written or adapted by Brian Freel in the middle of the back row here. This year, the company went outside Ireland for its chosen work. Bozeman and Lena was written by the South African Ethel Fugard. Stephen Ray and his wife, played by Deirdre Donnelly, are coloured tramps. In their mundane struggle for survival, they meet with the black man, played by Des McAleer. The two act play is a stark indictment of the racial discrimination which pollutes every aspect of South African society. What makes the play so stunning is that it was written almost 20 years ago and remains horribly relevant today. All there is to say. That's our word. After that, our life is dumb. Like your womb. All it pushed out was silence. There should have been noise. You pushed out silence. And Bushman buried it. Took the spade next morning and pushed our hope back into the dirt. Deep holes. When I filled them up, I said it again. Shit. One day your turn, one day mine. Recession has limited the grant aid available to Field Day, but such constraints haven't tarnished this version of Bozeman and Lena. The Field Day tour of Irish provincial towns begins on Monday. For all involved, the novelty of working with the company makes demands worthwhile. I've always wanted to work with Field ever since they started, so I was delighted to get the opportunity. And uh, the thing that strikes me most of all is the amazing sense of fun they have about their work. They're both very serious about the work, but also without being pretentious. They have a great sense of enjoyment in the whole creative process. And it goes right through the company, right down to the administrative staff, to the people who sell tickets. The whole company has got this sense of excitement because it's a new venture and they're still caught up in that uh, excitement and joy, I think. And I love that. It's very refreshing.